Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to do some ring typography in Illustrator. First step, select your text. I'm going to add the background. I'm going to select the rectangle. I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back, and I'm going to recolor the text white. I'm going to arrange it, go up here to horizontal align center and vertical align center. I'm going to create a new copy, press and hold alt to drag it down. And here I'm going to make the background light gray and I'm going to make the text dark. Select them, right click group, select right click group. And I'm going to go here to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, go to windows and select symbols. So I'm going to drag the top one. You can rename it as however you want. I'm going to rename it as one. Click OK. Do the same thing with the bottom one, number two. And I can delete them. Good. I'm going to select the circle. Press and hold Shift plus Alt to create a circle. I'm going to swap it here from fill to stroke. I'm going to decrease the stroke thickness to 0 0.25. Now I'm going to go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics. So this is basically applied in Illustrator 2022. These futures are the old school ones and these are the new 3D futurists so we're gonna go to the old old ones. I'm gonna go and click on the extrude and bevel classic. Go here to the position, click on front and I'm gonna spin this here. I'm gonna go with minus 22 and here we got the map art. Click on the map art we got like one of four. I'm gonna go with this arrow previous surface and as you can see it's switched to the interior ones. So I'm gonna go here to the none select the number one that I created. This is going to go in the inside part. I'm going to press and hold shift and here you can see I can scale it up. And as you can see this white space in here, we're going to drag it to the white area. And now I'm going to go to the little arrow here, preview surface. And now it's going to select the outer portion. Um, I'm going to go to the non, select the number two. And as you can see, it's going to paste it outside, press and hold shift, scale it. And I'm going to position it somewhere in the white area. Good. I'm going to click OK. Actually, I'm going to go to the perspective and with like 80. Click OK. And from here, I'm going to press Control C and you can go to the edit and click on paste in front. This is going to paste another copy in the front. Now I'm going to go to the appearance. This is the appearance. If you don't have it, go to Windows and select the appearance. Here we can check out the effects. We got the 3D extrude and bevel. We can click on it and go back to the settings. And here all we need to do is spin this. So this is on minus 23. So we're going to spin it minus 46. So it's going to be, you know, the double. Click OK. I'm going to scale this down. Press and hold Shift plus Alt. Scale it down a little. Press Control C. Edit. Paste in front. Scale it down. You can eyeball it, go back to the 3D extrude and bevel, and now we're going to go minus 68. Click OK. I'm going to scale this down. And this is it. Basically, this is how you create this awesome 3D ring, you know, with typo in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.